CRISPR Roots 22. Let's talk about the pimps of joy time. The pimps of joy time and Sophia Urista and their album Don't Belong. Okay, that's one artist uh, for purposes of this discussion. Pimps of Joy Town and Joy Time and Sophia Urista and their album Don't Belong and Wiley Bigger. Straight out of Memphis or near Memphis. Uh, Broken Telephone. These might both be considered blues. Or maybe not. Uh, the Pimps of Joy Time, Joy Time are uh, got a very eclectic funk, soul, rock, uh, and Wiley Bigger maybe is basically blues. But let's call these rock albums too. And one thing they really remind me of is how much I like rock and roll, and the fact that it's still possible to kind of get. A bunch of musicians together in a single room and rock out. That's what both these albums sound like to me. Right? It's getting unimaginably refreshing in the cyborg world of uh, information music. Okay, really. All right, so I guess let's start with uh, the Pimps of Joy Time. Joy Time. I keep wanting to say Joy Town. The Pimps of Joy Time and Sophia Urista. Um, all right, Sophia Eurista is an interesting vocalist. That's an interesting band, too. Um, I think sort of a interracial band, uh, funk and soul, like I say. Uh, the way they sound on this album, I discuss it, as we would put it back in the day, tight as a tipsy cat. It sounds like listening to Cool and the Gang on a good day or something like that, you know? Well, not exactly, but it's funk. A lot of it's funk. Um, it reminds me of my Cadillac 3 guys a little bit, too, at times. Um, Sophia Urista is an interesting figure. She got pretty far on The Voice. Um, and uh, she was in John Wick, maybe playing a singer. Uh, so if you remember that, I guess. I can't picture that exactly. But uh, maybe I didn't see John Wick. So, interesting background. Um, fairy out lesbian woman. In fact, the first song on this album is called Girl on Girl. How about we rock out? Right, well, that's some rock and funk, I think. And now she hits that hard, you know, like uh, it's it's as if every note is the hardest note Cindy Lauper ever hit. You know, yeah, but uh, pure too, actually, like quite a good singer. Um, but she, that's not always that's like her rock persona. She does a lot of things vocally. I think she's really good with this amazing band. Okay. Um, I don't know, like, how about this much more soul sound? Like, I like this a lot. Make it last forever. By the Pimps of Joy Time and Sophia Urista. <laughs>
Wow. I mean, that reminds me a lot of my, a couple of my favorite artists in the world, okay, like Betty Wright, the great 70s, still underrated 70s soul singer, cleanup woman, but so many great songs by Betty Wright. Um, I love the way you love, get that album. Uh, this could work on that uh, album, this song, and also the arrangement, man. It reminds me of that Sound of Miami is what Betty Wright was doing, like Little Beaver on guitar and stuff like this, maybe on the production too. Uh, great stuff. Uh, she uh, On The Voice, she performed I Can't Stand The Rain. Uh, I did listen to it a little bit. She really could handle that, but the arrangement didn't work, I think. So she kind of fucked up I Can't Stand The Rain. It wasn't her fault. It was The Voice, I feel. Um, but meanwhile... The band, the Pimps of Joy Time. I just picture this as a rockin' performing unit. Let's try this one. This was called Joy Peace. And this is what, this is why I say Cool and the Gang or something like this, like, which is the tightest band I ever saw, I think. Uh, amazing, man. Um, but this, this has this, that vibe a little bit. Maybe this doesn't sound like cool, but... I like this one a lot. This is called Joy Peace. Joy Peace. Little diddly beat there to start. One aspect of where I just feel like the power of the organic now is drumming. For, I guess since the Cyborg era started around 2010 or something, I just found dr real drums like, oh my God. And that's what they're doing here, just like. That's a tight funk unit, I think, man. A great little melody and everything, too, man. Yeah, I don't know. That's good. Uh, like I say, she can... But they also do much more gentle soul. This is a very eclectic album. If you're going all the way from kind of hard rock, uh, you know, to that Sometimes funk workout, to, uh, to this... I spare you by getting up from like having to watch my facial expressions, but I do feel music pretty vividly. You know, like I think that sounds awful good. Pimps of Joy Time and Sophia Eurista.
right, let's talk about a young man named Wiley Bigger. He describes himself as coming from uh, uh, Arkansas, just across the river from Memphis. I mean, I sort of was talking about southwestern Virginia the, uh, last week, but uh, I mean, that's a good place to be from, too. I mean, where does the blues come from? Maybe it comes from Arkansas on the other side of the river from Memphis, you know, like Sonny Boy Williamson's hanging out over there. Maybe Roosevelt Sykes and people like that. Uh, And then they're drifting to Memphis. And then they're heading down the river to New Orleans and up the river to Chicago, toward Chicago. Um, St. Louis. Wiley Bigger is very self-consciously Memphis Blues. This is his first LP, I think. Um, I imagine he's really kind of quickly become a presence in Memphis. Uh, I hope so. He's, in a way, he's really, I mean, he's a piano player. And if you really listen to the piano on this album, it's a exploration and a tribute and a, to the history of blues piano, okay, really. Um, so, I mean, Roosevelt Sykes, to mention again, you know, like, or all the boogie guys, but, uh, you know, our little brother Montgomery, uh, you know, like I hear maybe literally like a tribute to little, little brother Montgomery, an artist like that in here, which is not to say this is some stilted historical excursus, not at all. It's a fun kind of rock and blues album. I guess I sort of hear it, a lot of it as, um, I don't hear it, this one, as Memphis so much as uh, New Orleans. Because there's brass band going on, and because the piano often is pretty consciously paying tribute to Professor Longhair as well. Or, you know, um, Fast Domino, I guess, to some extent. So, but that's all the same... World, man, that's all the same river, baby. Um, anyway, let's try a few few times with this. Um, he's a really good songwriter, too. This is called Broken Telephone, this album by Wiley Bigger. Like I say, W-Y-L-Y. Um, all right, let's try the first song. Long here, right? This ain't the first time we met. I know that for a fact. The connection we have has got to go with that. This ain't the first time we've talked. I've heard your voice before. Well, I mean, one thing I just want to say is like, what a rich kind of New Orleans-y sonic environment he's creating there. It's, this thing is very horn heavy, very punchy, man. Like it's rah, it's, uh, it's real good that way. I think like this kind of New Orleans slash Memphis sound, slash Arkansas, slash St. Louis sound. Um, I love those horns. And again, like I'm feeling the drums and the horns in a way that I feel don't think I would have even 20 years ago, you know, because everyone's a information device, I guess, but not Wiley Bigger. Um, I mean, that's, that's a, that's like maybe a bad pickup line, right? This ain't the first, I feel like this ain't the first time we met. And maybe he's sincere though, actually. He sounds like he thinks that kind of thing can happen. Uh, 
but it's a any way you look at it, it's a charming piece of bar music, you know. Uh, I don't know. I like a lot of these songs. Um, Hello. I guess I hear that as rock and roll too, uh, or just really nice blues. Um, and I think, uh, uh, quite a good lyricist too, you know, like these are good songs. And, uh, now one thing I would say, like, he sounds like a young white guy. All right. And the, uh, the vocals could mature a little bit. They're charming. They're tuneful. They're fun. They could have a little more blues growl to them. Uh, still, I want to see this guy if I ever got a chance. Wildly bigger. Um, like when I say like he's a nice lyricist and stuff, like how about this one? Okay, that's pretty good, I think. Um, I like the title cut, Broken Telephone, which is kind of uh, could be a country lyric, really. Like, I, you know, I wonder when my phone ain't ringing. It must be broken, you know, because you ain't calling. You ain't returning my calls and stuff like that. Um, all right, well, I mean, uh, well, he's got a song called Thanks A Lot. Now, there's a Johnny Cash ca song called Thanks A Lot. And uh, the, one of my favorite country songs is an Ernest Tubb song called Thanks a Lot. I got a broken heart. That's all I've got. You made me cry. And I cried a lot. I lost your love. Baby, thanks a lot. That's Ernest. Um, 
So if you, you know, if you're, but this is a different song called Thanks A Lot by Wiley Bigger. Not by Ernest Tubb, not by Johnny Cash. Uh, but you know what? And I was going like, oh no. It stands up. It stands up to the Ernest Tubb and the Johnny Cash songs. <laughs> So thank you, honey. Honey, thanks a lot. All right. Uh, yeah, so I think those are two excellent albums this week. Uh, I don't quite know how to designate their genre. Uh, I mean, Wiley Bigger pours out blues piano throughout that whole thing. Uh, so I guess we'll go with that. And uh, the uh, Pimps of Joy Time and Sophia Eurista, Soul Rock, I guess. Peace, yo.